hello everyone uh, i want to make a short video about background image and repeat picture here as you can see here when we set a background uh, image we have the option for position adjustment repeat and size and m most of the time we choose non repeat yeah when we use an image background or a photo background especially photo background we uh, we set uh no repeat for example let's do uh, let's do an example for example i if i want to set this image as a background here like this i will choose no repeat if it is repeat <laughs> it doesn't look good anymore especially uh especially if it is a small size image it will be repeated in x and y axis for uh, photos uh, repeating is not uh, looking good so yeah but repeating is very useful for gradients and patterns here for example here i want to use this pattern uh, vertical uh, diagonal pattern uh, is a background image and this size is only 1 kb as you can see here using background image as a background is uh, may slow down your website because of the large uh, image file size but here this is only uh, square pixel 5 into 5 square pixel and size is 1 kilo uh, 1 kb uh, yeah so 1 kb so it is very small and when you we uh, use on our website it does not matter so it's very useful in set media now we have these patterns S uh, this is the usefulness of repeat we are repeating on the x and y axis board yeah sometimes if you want to repeat your gradient you can repeat on x axis or y axis okay here as you can see here it is repeating on x and y axis by inserting this only a uh, 5 into 5 square pixel 5 square, uh, square pixel uh, we can set this background beautifully in the pattern background the same applies for gradient and yeah this this max uh, speed of your website instead of inserting a last block of patterns as a image is your background we can in just insert a 5 into 5 square pixel and repeat them so this is the usefulness of repeat feature most of the time we do not use repeat so yeah and debate is debate is, is still going on it has been uh, a long time about the uh, last image file size and small image file size repeating the, there is a debate between this the pros and cons of these two features here when we use a background image background image is downloaded from the server on the clients or the visitors browser and is rendered on the uh, render by the clients or visitors browser so uh, here but in the old browsers there might be issue for rendering for, uh, so uh, rendering issue like this re repeating on x and y axis may there may be glitches in rendering in the old browsers but now most of the browser even microsoft uh, new age is uh, based on chromium and all these modern browser engines are very good they can render our websites beautifully without any problems so you can use this repeat feature without any uh, troubles and headaches so yeah but now the problem of website is speed is become a <laughs> something like yeah, <laughs> yeah m m people are <laughs> i think is the getting to the to the stage of being paranoid for paranoid for speed now people are talking about web vitals uh, website speed website performance so it's kind of trend it's kind of culture so we are very concerned about website speed so we by using these small square pixels and repeat them as our background we can speed up our website so this is very good uh, good trick 
So instead of using the last MS, we can use small MS as our background. Yeah, and I hope this is be uh, helpful. This is just not a difficult trick. Just uh, just a window paper. The okay. Most of the uh, uh, professionals use um, background patterns like this. Okay, I hope you uh, find it helpful. And okay, don't forget to like this video, comment, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.